Ash Media's coverage of the Australian Junior Sedan title proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. It's also undefeated and from the back Jai Irving, it's a ragged old start, the green lights have come on though and Brock Atkins sneaks up the inside, Matty McGee's already there and Jake Nedworth went four wide at the back of the field, has got past the few, so moved down the back straight the first time. The race seater is down at 53, but Pete Thorne behind him is Brock Atkins, here come the challenges through the field though, Thorne Atkins back in third place, it's Will Martin. Here's Matty McGee in fourth place. Thornton now blocks the move on the outside. But Brock Atkins, they got the top turn. Back after Martin and McGee. We've got Edwards up in the fifth place, then Hayden Brown. So move down into turn number two and down the back straight. Thorne just in front on the outside. And Brock Atkins, the Victorian and Tasmanian champion. Well, Thorne has a button off. Edwards goes around the outside of Will Martin in the fourth place. Hayden Brown from the Northern Territory, then Corey Greening. But it's Heath Thorne out in front. Matty McGee in third place has got the quick lap of the race. The 21 495 as they storm down the back straight here in the Timmer Speedway. The final qualifying heat in round number three. And it's Heath Thorne from South Australia giving plenty of cheek to the Victorian and Tasmanian champion. Brock Atkins does it 21 243. Matty McGee in third place. Jake Edwards fourth, then Will Martin in fifth. Brock Atkins tries to come underneath of Heath Thorne, but the little black charade still has control of the race as they come out of turn four once again. Halfway home in Heath 24 of the Australian Championship. Heath Thorne out in front, Atkins in second spot. McGee then back to Edwards. Brown is fifth, then Will Martin in the top six as they move out of turn two again. Into the back straight, Atkins this time maybe looks for the outside run. Ducks to the inside, the little charades off the curb this time. Atkins on the inside hits the front. What can Heath Thorne do? He can't do anything as Atkins takes the lead. They come up on lap cars down into Pitts Bend. It's Atkins the leader from Heath Thorne. Back in third place is Matty McGee. She's under pressure too from Jaden Edwards. Edwards comes from the back of the field. Goes underneath the McGee and goes into third place on contact. Contact on the back straight. Matty McGee almost hits the concrete wall. She continues on. Back in fifth place is Brown. Then back to Martin. A 21-178 by Brock Atkins. He's going to go through undefeated once again in round number three. Skips away now from Heath Thorne. Edwards McGee, Brown, Martin, then Corey Greening. Noah Van Ginnikin in eighth place. Josephine Thompson, Thomas Victor and Jai Irving. Graham Thomas goes for the white flag. One lap of Timmers to go in qualifying Heath 24. Atkins out in front. Thorne second. Edwards third. McGee back in fifth place after that is Brown. Then Martin and Greening as they move down the back straight road the last time. Come on race fans, where are you? It's going to be a Victorian victory again and it's going to be Brock Atkins who hangs on and is still undefeated. Brock Atkins first across the line, Heath Thorne second, Jaden Edwards third. Fourth place will go the way of Matty McGee in 38. Following them through will be Hayden Brown in 77. Will Martin will be next. Car number 59. Corey Greening, after Corey Greening, Noah Van Ginnikin, Josephine Thompson, Jai Irving and Thomas Richter. The margin was 0.777, the quick lap of the race, a 21.178 by Brock Atkins in win winning the final qualifying race of round number three of the Australian Junior Championship.